Okay, reading this problem, the sound was heard 24 miles in every direction. So if we have our factory sitting in the middle, we need to be able to go out 24 miles in every direction. So that means our radius from the center to the side would be 24 um, miles. I'll use mi for miles. All right. How many square miles are in the area where people heard the explosion? So to find the area of this circle, we'll use the formula pi r squared. They're telling us to use 3.14 as an approximation for pi, the radius we have, so we just have to plug in our values. All right, so again, pi, we're using 3.14, and then the radius, whatever it is, we're going to have to square it. Um, try to indicate that a little differently. So 24 miles is the radius. and we'll need to square that. Okay, it's going to give us a pretty large number. So, um, basically we just have to solve this following the order of operations now because area A is all by itself. So we'll have to take care of our exponents first. nine and eight. So I get 576, 24 squared is 576. The 3.14 is just waiting to multiply so we bring that down. And we want to show that we're multiplying so I'll put in another set of parentheses. I think we'll do it right here. Um, I think I'll put 576 on top since those numbers are a little bit bigger. Multiplying by 1 goes quickly, 6, 7, 5, that was nice. Uh, before I start multiplying by 3, I have to put in two zeros. Now 3 times 6, two decimal places so we have to come in two decimal places and it said round to the nearest hundredth well we're already in hundredths so we'll just leave it the way it is and it turns out that 1808 and 64 hundredths square miles. So for almost 2,000 square miles, people could hear that. might seem hard to believe, but um, if you think of this as, say, a square, let's just make our numbers real easy to work with just to help you understand it. If it's a 24-mile radius, that's almost 48 miles across, so we'll just say this is a square of length 50 and 50 and the area is length times width, so that would be 2,500 
square miles. If you just have 50 miles by 50 miles, it's 2,500 square miles. So that seems about correct. It's a little smaller and we chop off the corners. Oh, sorry, some of that didn't stay on the camera there. But it, I was saying it was 50 by 50, so that's 2,500 square miles. Um, just to convince ourselves that number is probably correct. Uh, for the next one, they're giving us, let's zoom in a little, the face-off area in a hockey ring. Um, it's going to be another circle. with a diameter of 31.1 and that's feet. Uh, we'll need our formula area is equal to pi r squared um, but this formula calls for the radius and they've given us the diameter so before we can even get started hope you can read that 31.1 feet um, we need to cut that in half, okay? So I want to know the distance from here to here. So that'll be, where to solve that? 31 and 1 tenth divided by 2. There's decimals here, so you have to tell the world. Bring down your next digit. And you can put in zeros if you need them. So we'll bring that down. And finally, 2 into 10 is 5 times. So half of 31.1 feet is 15 and 55 hundredths. And now we can use our formula here. Okay, so we have area for pi. They want us to use 3.14, and then the radius we'll have to plug in here, and we'll have to square it. Okay, so that's 15 and 55 hundredths. We're going to make us do some work here. Do the calculation right here. At least if we keep multiplying by fives, the results will be the same. So five times five is twenty five, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. 25, 26, 27, and that's 5, 6, 7. So I put a 0 here before I start, but when I multiply by this 5, I'll get the same result. Now I have to put in two zeros before I start. When I multiply by that 5, I get the same result. Sorry, I'm kind of running into the next my previous uh, job here. Since we don't need that anymore. Alright, and we still have to multiply by the 1. So instead of two zeros, I have to put in three zeros. Keep this nice and straight along here, okay? Don't, don't get crooked on the side. Um, but multiplying by 1 is easy as well, so it's just Five 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 one. So that's a five, a five, a five, and a one. All right. Twelve. That's fourteen, fifteen, twenty. Twenty one, twenty three, twenty eight. 14, 16, 21. 
9, 14, and finally a 2. And we had 4 decimals, so we have to come in 4 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, they said round to the nearest tenth, but you really shouldn't do that until the end. If we round uh, in the middle of our calculation, it'll throw us off by too much. So I want to be sure the decimal sitting right here. My arrow's not real clear, but it's 241 and then all that. So we have area is equal to 3.14 times all of this. And for this calculation, I'll have to zoom out a little bit, slide this up some. And usually I don't work right under here, but I'm kind of running out of room. So I'm going to multiply 3.14 times all this. So I don't want to get confused. I'm using that now. Times five. Zero is one. That's four, six, seven, sixteen, eight, nine. All right, and then I start with my one. I have to put a zero to start, and then it's five two zero eight, etc. Five two zero eight one four two, and then finally, before we start uh, multiplying by that three, it's in the hundreds. So, or well, I won't get into that. That's the hundreds place because we ignore the decimal while we're in the middle of our multiplication and we just count the decimal places at the end. Okay, So uh, 3 times 5, 6, 7, that's a 0, 24, 3, 4, 5, Twelve, six, seven, okay, now all we have to do is add these up, so eight and seven is fifteen, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's 19. There's a 5 and a 7. And let's see, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces we've got to come in. Come in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And remember they said uh, round to the nearest tenth. So we stand at the tenths place and look back. Um, a five or greater will round up. So this ends up being the area is 759 and three tenths. Uh, the units are feet. And remember, you have to put squared because it's area. And again, that might seem hard to believe, but it, it is correct. And uh, 31. If you made this a square that was 30 by 30, that would be 900 square feet. So it makes sense that that's a little bit less than 900 square feet. Then the last one that we're going to look at, um, we have to find the area of a shaded region. Okay, We don't have a formula to just find an area of part of a circle. So we're going to have to do this in two steps. Uh, first, we'll have to find 
the area of one of the circles and then the other. So let's go ahead and start out um, with the bigger one. So this is the radius of the big circle is 30. All right. So we'll just find out the area of the big circle. And we use our trusty formula. So we'll have area is equal to, for pi, we'll put in 3.14. For radius squared, we'll have to square 30. Um, 3 times 3 is 9, so 30 times 30 is 900. And when we multiply that, it's actually not that bad because of all those zeros. So when we multiply by the first zero, nothing happens. Before I even start for my second, I have to put in a zero. Nothing happens. When I get all the way over here to the hundreds, I have to have two zeros. And now 9 times 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 27, 28. We have two decimal places. So the area of the large circle is 2,826 square meters. All right. And now we'll figure out the area of our small circle, which has a radius of 12 meters. All right, and that's just our small one. So we'll say, I kind of want to, where to do this? I'll just start right here. All right, so for the small circle, area is pi r squared. For pi, we'll plug in our 3.14. The radius is 12, and we will have to square that. Uh, 12 times 12 is 144. So we'll have to multiply 3 and 14 hundreds times 144. And we'll do that right here. Multiplying by a 4 again, I'll get 6, 5, 2, 1. And multiplying by a 1, it'll just be 4, 1, 3. So that gives, I guess I'll zoom out a little bit. So we have 6. have uh, two decimal places so we come in twice 452.16 and that's meters squared again all right so we have our large circle is this area the small one is that if I subtract the smaller from the larger I'll be left with the area that's shaded in here. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And let's do that calculation. So again, to find the shaded area, we take the area of the large circle. Meters squared. And we subtract, oh, I've got a decimal here. Um, I think I want a little more room. I'm going to slide this down. 
I'm going to be subtracting uh, to the hundredths place, so I'll need two zeros here. 450, 216. So, got to borrow. There's a three. And they did say that we could round to the nearest tenth. So you stand at your eight, look over at the next digit, you round down. So the area of the shaded region, okay, this shaded region all the way around, is 2,373 and eight tenths square meters. It's the area of the shaded region.